isn't this a lovely evening? It's 5.30 on Saturday night, afternoon, whatever. And it's gone back and forth all day. Overcast, blue sky, overcast, cloudy, blue sky. And it's continuing with this pattern. Both of that lady's dogs are uh, they don't get along well with anything else that moves. She has that little white one and she has a, a dachshund. And that little dachshund is ready to rip the arms and legs off of anything that moves near it. Any other dog, any other person, any other kid, whatever goes by. I've never seen any animals quite so uh, snarly. Whatever. So I was going to do a video about the irregular past tense of the English language. Uh, irregular past tenses like uh, uh, she drives, she drove, and she has driven, things like that. But um, when I looked it up on the internet to see what you know Google says about it and what the rest of the world says about it, there are so many different things being said about it. I'm going. I said, oh, is, is the irregular past uh, going to disappear? Because I had the impression from American English that not a lot of people were using irregular past tenses anymore. Things like that. And then I found out that it just depends. And I definitely am not the only person who's talking about it. It's not that fascinating. I was going to talk about it to you guys, but now I don't think I will, because, well, it's not that interesting, and the, the Mafia car from across the street has just come home, and the lady and her dog are coming by again. So, I don't think Ah, what the heck Sure, I'll talk to you now that everyone's gone. Yeah. Um, I looked it up, and it's not so much that the terms are regular and irregular verbs, is that they're strong and weak verbs, and they come from different origins. Here I am talking about it, even though I said I wasn't going to. I mean, words that were originally based in the Germanic or not. So new verbs are the weak verbs, and the old Germanic verbs are the strong verbs. And they don't have anything to do with strong and weak. It's just the word that was used in the German language uh, to refer to the way certain verbs were formed. 
So the irregular verbs, the strong verbs, in other words, are the ones like drive and drove and things like that. I'm driven. Are they disappearing? In some senses, yes. In some senses, no. So there's no definitive, they are disappearing. However, I get the idea that new verbs are going to be regular or weak verbs. And that this irregular stuff, or strong stuff, is not going to happen with uh, new verbs anymore. There you go. Do you know the difference between lie and lay? Inquiring minds want to know. I always teach that one to my students. Lie and lay. I know the difference, do you? Have a good evening.